Hey everybody, this is Willie at DoingLostCrafts.com and today I'm going to show you a neat money saving tip. Um, I would say, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago my wife came across a new product from a particular company which I'm not going to mention but it's neat stuff. It's a disinfecting or sterilizing spray that uh, you basically spray on your counters and let it stand for a couple minutes and then wipe it off. And there's no need to rinse it and so it's really cool stuff. The problem was it comes in kind of a small bottle and it's very expensive when you start using it at the rate that she was at least. So I'm hoping other people know what I'm talking about out there and can take advantage of um, how to make this themselves for just a fraction of the cost. So here we go. Okay first thing that you're going to need is some sort of squirt, squirty type bottle um, and it's actually better this one you can see through a little bit <coughs> but it's actually better if you can find one that's white or opaque um, because the solution that we're going to make does break down in, in the uh, UV light so does sunlight so if you don't have a, 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 a non see through bottle make sure you store this you know, underneath the sink or something, somewhere where the light can't get to it. But a nice bottle. Um, I got this one just at the hardware store. And then always with all chemicals, make sure that you're labeling what is on them uh, to not get confused with others. So there's our bottle. So the next thing that we need, again, turn backwards just to avoid uh, revealing the brand. But uh, chlorine, it's bleach. Um, anymore when I look around I can't find anything that doesn't say concentrated now so this recipe that I'm about to give you is with the concentrated bleach and so make sure that when you're if you're gonna go about doing this look for the concentrated stuff to, to make sure that what you're making is strong enough to do the, the, the job okay to administer the bleach we're gonna need a way to measure it and we need a teaspoon and we're going to need a funnel to be able to get it into that container as well as the water afterwards. Now the ratio that we're using here for this solution is one teaspoon uh, per 24 ounces of water. So on the website on the blog at newandmosscrafts.com which the link will be below this video if you're getting to this from YouTube I'll give you the measurements for uh, <coughs> not only 24 ounce but gallon half gallon type, type measurements and give you an easier way to, to, to figure out how much to use. But for my little 24 ounce spray bottle, the ratio is one teaspoon to 24 ounces. And those are fluid ounces. Okay, we got all of our equipment here. And let's just make this. It's easy as pie. But then I'll show you a little bit about how to use it as well when we're done. So make sure your, your bottle is nice and cleaned out. Um, this is a brand new one so we don't have to worry much about that. Go ahead and put your funnel in there. And then we're going to take our bleach, our concentrated bleach, and do one teaspoon. And go ahead and pour that into the bottle. It doesn't seem like much but you don't want it to be any more than that because then you'll have to go back and rinse the, the stuff uh, after you apply it. Um, at this rate the chlorine in the solution will evaporate quickly enough after doing its job that uh, you just don't have to worry about it. Kind of the same theory of uh, treating water. You can use the, um, the bleach to treat water at a different rate um, in order to drink it. Now don't drink this stuff because this is a much higher rate of usage. And I'm going to fill it up with uh, with filtered water. <coughs> um, if you have distilled water, that's even better. Using my my Berkey filtered water is what I'm going to fill with. Okay, using the same funnel, I have my filtered water from the uh, Berkey system. So here's our filtered water. I'm going to fill up to the 24 ounces. Alright, there we go. I'm 
done with the funnel here. Go ahead and put our spray top on. Okay, give her a good shake. Double check that you have a label. Now we're ready to use it. So, just kind of made a little bit of a mess here on the, the stove top or the um, yeah, stove top. So, as an example, the way to use this, go ahead and get a nice layer on top or where you want to disinfect. Then we're going to let that sit for two minutes and then we'll wipe it off and you have a nice disinfected surface. Okay, so after two minutes, we're going to come back and wipe this up. Now, one bit of caution here is that uh, bleach does remove color. <laughs> Um, at this concentration, it, it shouldn't do too much harm. Um, and I don't like using paper towel for everything, so I have a bunch of microfiber towels. But whatever you want to use, if you want to use paper towel, go for it. Uh, but you're just going to wipe that up. No need to rinse, that's the beauty of it. And voila. This is Willie at newmousecrafts.com. Hope you enjoyed this. This has saved uh, me and my family a ton of money over the last uh, year or so. If you have any comments or suggestions, uh, please feel free to post either on YouTube or visit the actual blog at www.newandlostcrafts.com. Uh, you should be able to see links if you're on YouTube to, to get to the blog. And I really appreciate the likes and the, uh, the comments, so take it easy. Thanks.